Are you guys at home? You guys watching this right now? You're in for a treat because we have some r slash nice guys over on Reddit. But a little spoiler alert, they're not nice guys. Let's get started. But first, you have a mandatory saying hello to Max. All right, now, now we're getting started. All right, we got some text messages. You're thinking everyone is bad on the internet? There's a lot of bad people out there, my man. There's a lot of bad people on the internet. Did you hear about that pumped up fun? All the weird stuff people were posting on there? It was a crypto website, but everybody was just freewheeling it with the live streaming stuff. And so they had to shut it down. Like people are bad on the internet. All right, enough of that though. Yeah, what do you look like? Nuh uh. All right, then it's a no. What? I prefer not to share, lol. Mm, okay, why? Because you're a stranger on the internet. What What other reason is there? What do you mean, why, crying face? I just want to see what you look like, crying face. But I don't want to share. God, this guy just, it's painful to read messages like this. That someone actually, like, took the liberty to, like, go, this is a good-ass message to send. I'm going to send this message, and it's going to work. Like, who thinks like that? That's okay. No reason to cry like a baby. He he was crying like a baby even more. Oh, wait, you can't, you can't even see it. There we go. Bro, you also sent a crying emoji. My thoughts exactly. And then skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. Alrighty. Bye. Hell nah. Bro, he left because I didn't send him my face. Yeah, there's a lot of weird people out there who like do that kind of thing. A lot of weird people if you haven't noticed. Bro wanted to chat with someone who is mature. I'm sorry, my guy, but you're the epitome of immature. You're probably 13. You're probably like not developed enough to know like what it is to be mature. But like you're just be you're being stupid. You've you've drank the stupid juice. Thinking everyone is bad on the internet. A lot of people are bad. Not everyone, but I can't trust everyone, as you'll understand. I, as a woman, get tons of creeps. It's normal for me not to trust a total stranger. Makes sense. Plus, I don't like sharing my face. Call me immature is a bit stupid. Not gonna lie. Oh, I'm immature. Cause you don't even respect my opinion you go off i respect it but no you really don't respect it but i just also want to understand one and then they reply i just don't want to one because you're a stranger and two it's uncomfortable i don't think it's necessary for me to give you reasons though okay okay fine and that's where this one ends let's go on to the next one all right this first one is we're only complaining because it's a woman's fault i don't know about that one chief i don't know when nice guys complain about their situation, it's not because being nice didn't get them a girlfriend, but because they can see guys who are far from nice doing way better, but women manipulatively twist this narrative to bully them. I'm going to start off and say right here, that's not true. It just maybe you're kind of weird and you're weird when you're being nice. And the guys who are not so nice are a little bit less weird, but that's just me. The anger of self-proclaimed nice guys isn't because of being nice didn't get them a girlfriend. It's because they were told that being a good boy was the bare minimum to be liked by a woman at least. It kind of is, kind of is the bare minimum, but uh, yet they can see guys who are straight up a-holes and put barely an effort into love, sex, and affection way more than guys who try hard. Life isn't fair, buddy. Life isn't fair. You can't claim that being nice is the bare minimum when a lot of guys who don't fulfill this bare minimum get laid or get girlfriends way more than those who aren't. I'm going to peel back the curtain just a little bit, just peel back the curtain just a little bit when it comes to people because obviously people like this don't understand how the world works. A guy can be nice to a girl but be mean to everybody else. Like, he can be so nice to her and just, like, kind of not really care about anybody else. Let me, just to peel back the curtain a little bit. If you raise a young boy to think that being a good boy, putting women first, caring about their opinion, pleasing them, being a good student, what does having a, being a good student have to do with anything? Like, I've never heard of someone being a good student. Oh, we can't like him. He's a good student. And a respectful, hardworking member of society is not just the bare minimum to get a girlfriend, but to be liked and also something that men owe women due to years of oppression. He's going to be very confused when he sees women still effing, chasing, cheating, and with them willing fully dating guys who are bad bums, drug addicts, cheaters, and we so on, so on, and straight treat women poorly while simultaneously claiming that dudes who are the opposite or boring or bad people is obviously just going to be a string of hurtful way. I hate to tell this guy, but he is not very nice. He is not a very nice guy at all. Guys accept fair and square when they get passed on for someone who is objectively better for them. I'm just going to say that's probably a lot of people, my man. That's probably a lot of people. Like, there's objectively going to be a lot of people better than you, and they could be the mean guys. It, it could be. They could be. He has more money. Fair enough. He has a better future. Fair enough. He's better looking. Fair enough. More. He's more gentlemanly. Fair enough. He's more capable. Fair enough. He has a better... What's this guy ranting about? He's just talking about all these things that are, like, are valid reasons for why women don't want him and just he's... He's just making him, he's just making a fool of himself. But is there more? That's the real question. There is more. How much more is there? There is a good amount more. And I'm going to go through all this because I cannot stop myself. 
And then he just goes on about how, like, treat you better, blah, blah, blah. Claiming that nice guys deserve to be lonely because what, no one's claiming that. No one is claiming nice guys deserve to be lonely. All any girl wants with these nice guys who are not that nice in general is just don't be weird when you're being nice. Don't be a weird dude when you're talking to women. That's all women want is they just don't want you to be weird. It's that simple. Then we got weird man number two coming in commenting. This is true. It's just a world fallacy. Women are attracted to the nice. Nothing wrong with that. I just wish they would own it instead of gaslighting. My guy, no two women in this world are the same. Like if you say guys aren't attracted to nice, you can't really say that because every guy is different. Some will be attracted to nice, some are not. But it's like, you can't just like, you just can't make blanket statements about this. What does he get into for the rest of this? So basically just more complaining and moaning. I, I lied. I'm not going to finish this one. So this post is titled, you expected a reply. LOL, you text me some dumb shit like that at 3 a.m. You best believe you, you'll be left on red. We got a giga chad here posting. Not going to lie. All right, let's get this r slash nice girls post started. So she goes, enjoy the rest of your day, blank. And then he replies, thanks, blank. Have a great rest of your evening. Get a plenty of rest, too. And then she hearts it. Man, get a room, you two. Get a room, you two. All right, and then she goes, hey, I noticed you started typing my name with a lowercase letter and seven uppercase like before. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way and kind of made me feel a bit weird. I've always been cool with you, so it threw me off. Really? Okay. Anyways, I think I'm going to pass on that date this Saturday. Have fun chatting with everyone else. Take care. You got to be fucking kidding me. And then she goes, hello, annoyed emoji. I'm not going to say hello back. I'm going to say something in 2000s teen diva standards. Talk to the hand. But let's be fair to the girls for a second. Let's go over to r slash nice guys and look at some of the posts over there. Let's be fair for a second. So just a little bit of context. This was posted in both r slash nice guys and r slash nice girls. It did a little bit better on r slash nice guys. Uh, you'll see why. But like for some reason it was posted on both subreddits. I don't need a man to be five times more in love. It's not a competition. I give my 100% and I want my man to give 100%. Alright that makes sense. That makes sense. Unless you're dealing with a psychopath like this guy. And then he replies, okay, that's cool. In my bubble, it's a completely different story. Girls give up a 500% of their love to prove that they deserve my 100%. My guy, what? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's, let's have him explain himself. And then he goes into Rant City where he's the mayor. And then he goes, true love. That's what I bring to the table. The love that no one can ever buy. I know how to make a woman forget all the pain. I know how to make a woman feel that love all them want to feel. What the f*** is that sentence? Once they get a taste of it, trust. They'll give it a thousand percent. So I'm just going to make one joke about this guy. One joke. It's a stolen joke, but I'm still going to make one joke. That he must have the personality of an unsalted pretzel because like if all he can bring to the table is this true love, not personality, not being kind, not being caring, not being a good person, not being empathetic, not being all those things that like a good person is, not being one of those things, just being just being in love with you. Like that's not that's not the first thing that should be on your mind like when you're talking to someone. Like, if he just was a good person, like, that's the first thing I always look for. All right, let's get into this next nice guy's post. This is a different post, new thing. All right, let's get started. And then he replies to a story, says, fact. I can't really see it, but okay. And then, greetings, I'm blank, and you? And then she replies, hello, I'm blank. This is already off to a thrilling start. And then, okay, I must say you look beautiful. And then, thank you so much, smiley face. All right, this is, this is kind of painful, not going to lie. This is kind of painful. Sorry, where are you from? I'm from blank. What about you? You might stop talking to me if I tell you. I'm an honest person. I don't have to lie to you. And then she goes, I don't think so. I don't have a problem with anyone like that. And then he says, I'm from blank. It's a country from in West Africa. And she just says, oh, that's nice. This conversation's not going anywhere. I don't know why he keeps on doing that. Like, and she says, sorry, I may ask you, how old are you, pretty? I don't know why you're asking how old someone is. And then if they're then calling them pretty in the same sentence, that's not something you should do. And I'm 18. How old are you? 21. That's a little bit old to be asking someone how old they are. Like, if you're not sure, you shouldn't be doing that. And then, cool. My guy, take, take a hint. Take a hint, my guy. And then he just says, sad emoji, sad emoji. Tomorrow's my dad's burial. I hate to tell you, but she does not give a fuck. Then he's Mr. Optimistic. It's fine. Such is life. And then he replies a different day. How are you doing today, pretty? And then crickets. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh no, I like girls, lol. And then you stop talking to me. Have I done something wrong? You never were talking to her in the beginning. You never were talking to her. Not at all. I'm very sorry. I haven't been on Instagram in a long time. What happened? I hope everything is okay. Guy, just, just shut up for two seconds. You don't need to talk to her every day. And then I hope you're doing good. And then we get into a yapathon. I'm just a young African guy. I don't need anything else but friendship from you. First time I came across your profile, 
Saw your post in your beauty really caught my attention. You barely know me. She doesn't know you at all. Hate to tell you, but... But I don't feel happy not having a frequent conversation with you. I understand you like girls, but that's because you haven't tried being with a guy and seeing the difference. I don't, I don't think that's why. I don't know how guys are over there, but I believe guys like me are definitely the best for you. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. And then, did you block me? And then that's where it ends. So, yep, she blocked him. She blocked you, my guy. She blocked you, which she should have done a long time ago. Not trying to victim blame or anything, but like... This dude is a creeper. This one's titled, I paid for your dinner and this is the thanks I get. Hate to tell you, buddy, but paying for dinner doesn't get you shit nowadays. All right, so she starts off with, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't message you earlier today, but I wanted to say I enjoyed our date yesterday. How did you feel about it? I'm just going to flat out say it. This would have been a home run in my book, but I can already tell this is going to turn to chaos, but let's continue. Oh yeah, I was wondering why you didn't message sooner, but I agree. It was very enjoyable. Would you like to see each other between Christmas and New Year's? I can take you to the restaurant you were talking about. I can't. I'm going to be at my parents between Christmas and New Year's. Maybe sometime in January. I'm going to be a little bit busy though. And then he goes, so you don't want to see each other anymore? My brother in Christ, if you if you use your two brain cells for like two seconds, my man, if you would have just looked at the first message she said, she said, I'm sorry I didn't message you earlier and that she enjoyed your date. You would have known <laughs> that she actually did enjoy your date and that she feels bad that she didn't text earlier. So like, she wants to see you again. It's just, it's going to take time because not everyone wants to drop at the hat of a button or seat of the pants or something, some saying like that. No one's going to want to come running every time you call. So like, just, just wait, just wait, come here. Come here. I know this guy's not even using his head, Max. Like, I'm sure you could figure this out. Like, look, just look at the screen, Max. Like, I'm sure you could figure out how this guy's supposed to talk to a woman. Like, I'm sure you're better with women than some of these guys on Reddit. And then my suspicions were right because she goes, um, no, that's not what I said at all. Well, it kind of, and then he goes, well, it kind of seems that way. You're going to go from seeing her in the future just a long time from now to going to see her never in the future. So, like, you better play your cards right from here on out or else you're going to be stuck with nothing. You're just, you're, you're playing your cards all wrong. You're, you're not doing good, my man. And then he gets really offended in this next line and says, you expect me to believe that you aren't going out to parties on New Year's? Coming from a guy who's been invited to exactly zero New Year's parties. Not everyone wants to party on New Year's. Like sometimes it gets old. Sometimes like you don't want to party, but like, yeah. And then she goes, not this year. Then why can't you see me in January? He's being awful accusatory or whatever the word is, but like, but like you just went from like having the best case scenario. You had a fine girl texting you. You had a fine girl wanting to talk to you. And then you're just messing it up all on your own. Like this is all self-inflicted. Like I'm just saying like you're just you're just messing this up all for yourself. And then I literally said I can. I just said I'd be a little bit busy. Yeah, he's blowing this way out of proportion. He's doing this all to himself. Um, okay, well you should make some time for yourself instead of work. If you can spend time with me, you could relax. But here's the thing about adults. You gotta work. You can't go to New Year's parties every year. You gotta make that money. Like, this guy's obviously not an adult adult. Or else he would understand you gotta go to work. You gotta make money. You got to see your parents. His priorities are not straight. Then she goes, then it's not really time to myself then, is it? So you don't want to see me? If, you, if you're going to be so confrontational about it, I, I don't want to really. I literally paid for your dinner. He said diner, but like I knew what he meant. You can't be t having typos in this message, man. That's, it's not a good look. It's devastating if I'm being honest. And this is the thanks I get. You should be thankful I spent the time getting to know you. <sighs> you, my man, should be thankful. That she hasn't blocked you already, but she probably will soon. And then now you wanted to ditch me? What the F? I don't really know what to say to that. I'm just saying you're you're making a bad case for yourself. You're making a terrible, terrible case for yourself, actually. This is actually not a very good case. And just a little heads up, this is where he kind of goes completely unhinged. He, like, completely goes off the rails, but let's read into it. You could start by apologizing for wasting my time. She didn't waste your time. You did this to yourself. I'm just, just being flat out with you, man. You did it to yourself. Have fun h and around on New Year's Eve. I guess I dodged a bullet here. I, don't, I think she's the one who dodged a bullet. Just pointing out the obvious. You're a waste of time. You know that? Why are you still here? Why are you still here? If she's a waste of time, then why are you still here? You better pay me back for the dinner because this is ridiculous. I took you out to a nice dinner that you said you enjoyed and now you won't go on a second date with me? It's not the 1950s anymore. It don't give you shit if you pay for dinner. Like, that's just a nice gesture. If you're so worried about it, then split the bill. And then don't be a gentleman. 
But like, just saying, it's all it is is a nice gesture. That's all it is nowadays. Like, it doesn't give you anything if you pay for your dinner. Just saying, it's not the 1950s anymore. And then he says something really rude here, not even going to say it. You literally have no life. And he said you were too busy to see me. Man, he's just being mean. You could have just told me straight up that you're all busy all the time before I went on a date with you. This all started off... Let's start from the beginning. I wanted to say I enjoyed our date yesterday. How many times do I have to say that? She enjoyed the date yesterday. Then he goes, do you usually waste people's time and money? And then something else really mean. I can't believe I was actually considering settling down with a woman so old and so ugly. Girls over 21 are a waste of time. Low key, that is something like a closet PDF file would say. Because like, 21 is young, 25 is young, 29 is young, 30 is young, 35 is decently young. Like, all the 20s and 30s, those are young in my book. 40s, not too old, but like, that's just something a closet PDF file would say. Like, 21 is too old. Just like, cops, there's him. There's the guy. Then he just continues to be rude. I don't need to settle for an ugly duckling like you. I don't know why he's still here. Then stop texting me. Get a fucking life, dude. You go off, girl. You go off. My life is better than yours. Like... My guy, like, why are you still here? If your life is so good, then why are you texting this random girl who, like, you're just, you're just mad, bro. You're just mad. Oh, and then she spell checks him. I didn't even realize they misspelled life. That is just devastating. Going back to the spell check. He just, he cannot be making typos in, like, in this sort of situation. He cannot be making typos. Like, it, it, it went past me and my small brain, but, like, it did not go past big brain girl in this situation. Now, what do we have here? It looks like we have a sorry message, which we do. We have a sorry message. I'm sorry. I should have been more understanding by your schedule. Sorry if you feel disrespected. I'm just going to stare into the camera so you know my disappointment. Because dudes like this must be sniffing crazy glue if they think they can come back from calling a girl a slut. And then in the very next message, just apologize and then go, you up? Like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You sniffing crazy glue. Now I'm going to be fair to the men out there. We're going to go into an r slash nice girls now. Just to be fair, just to put it on a level playing field because both sides can be a bit rowdy at times. This is a one picture post and says this is even the beginning of the end of the text. Woke up to 365 texts saying block me from a girl I haven't talked to in weeks. I'm just saying there might be a little bit of drugs or alcohol in play in that. Just, just maybe there might, there might be just throwing it out there because I'll say the difference between this one, just like a 365 blocks me and then one message. That's something that's either psychosis or like drugs and alcohol at play because like normal people don't do that. But the thing is, there's guys who have nothing wrong with them who still act like they do and are such nice guys. That's why I think this one's not really fair just because like it could, there's obviously something wrong here. Got my first nice go. Tried to see if maybe she was just being awkward and didn't know what to say after that. I know. I just left it on red and unadded. Alrighty. It's a dyth piercing, whatever that is. Oh, I just looked it up. That's super cool. And good morning. I passed out super early yesterday. And then I figured laughing face. All right. No harm, no foul. I just got finished with my bike ride, hopped in the shower, then dried off and just, why are you getting so specific, man? This, like, I'm, I know I'm supposed to be fair to the guys here, but like, I can always, I can already tell this guy's gonna be a little bit weird. And I just remember looking at my phone in my under, okay, and it's like five in the morning. It feels so damn good out today. I don't know if she's the nice girl here, but whatever. You just passed out. Meanwhile, I was working. All right, so playful banter. Man, I worked 10 hours while you were napping. I have to nap. They got me on closing shifts at work. You got the easy job. And then he replies, easy job is crazy work. I ain't got no AC out there. It's always too hot or too cold. Gotta work through the rain. He's taking this a little bit too far. Not gonna lie. She was just joking with you. Just a joke. Just a prank, my man. And he sends three videos. And then she says, well, you decided to work there. Yeah, exactly. I ain't complaining, but it's definitely ain't easy whatsoever. That is complaining. Not gonna lie, that that is kind of complaining. That that is complaining. Uh, bro, you just said I ain't got no AC out there. It's always too hot or too cold. We gotta work through the rain. That's not just saying it's an. E that's not saying it's a hard job. That's literally complaining about the job. And then yes, for sure, I valid. I know. Yep. Not gonna lie, this isn't a nice girl. This is a nice guy. This this is in the wrong subreddit. That's all I got for today's video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.